What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist and I'm going to give you this nice short and sweet video to let you know a few things. First and foremost, the pre-orders are live for Blackstone Fortress. So I greatly recommend you guys head on over to your closest gaming store, closest GW for that matter, because they will be giving away some extra goodies. So if you manage to get there, you know, early enough while there's still supplies, you can get some posters and whatnot. So I greatly recommend you guys do that. And we've got some information on the awesome models for Chaos. So yeah, so first of all, I was wrong. The Chaos Cultists, or what I believe were Cultists, are actually Renegade Guard. So that's pretty freaking awesome, because finally we have models for Renegade Astra Militarum. Uh, humans. Now, I don't think we've had that before. Maybe in Forge World? However, that is pretty freaking sweet, because, I mean, they're close enough that you could use them as cultists, so why not? And also, we finally have a named for the Chaos Lord that you see here, the one with the sweet-looking Thunder Hammer, and he is none other than Obsidious Malix. So, it says that you could also play these characters, not just in the Warhammer quest, but also in your regular games of 40k, and then they give you like stat sheets as to what abilities they have. For example, Tadius the Purifier um, has a Warhem, so you could add him to your Astra Militarum unit, or hell, even to your Sisters of Battle, which has been confirmed for a 2019 release. So if you're all about the sisters, then you got some pretty awesomeness coming your way. And also, Dayak Grek, the Kroot, has just a pretty amazing ability. So pretty much, if you use him as an elite choice in your Tau army, he gives you the ability called Concealed Booby Traps. Basically what this does is that once per battle, at the end of your opponent's movement phase, you can choose an enemy unit and roll a d6. Now, if it's a character, you subtract one. However, if there's 10 or more models, you add one. On a 4-up, that unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. And on a 7-up, it suffers a D6 mortal wounds instead. So it's a little situational, but, I mean, that's pretty good in my opinion. Especially if you're trying to do some damage. Hell, it's just one model that can potentially do 6 mortal wounds. So, go ahead and go character hunting. Oh wait, actually you can't do it on the character because you're subtracting one. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> pretty cool stuff, especially when the sculpt looks that awesome. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much all I had to say. Just a quick short video letting you know more about Blackstone Fortress. Again guys, I'm super hyped for this, so keep, keep posted, I guess. Because uh, once this comes out, I'm for sure going to give you some more videos, some more lore. Especially now that we know that one of the players in this is actually a man of iron. Uh, so yeah, stay subscribed for that. Check out um, our videos tomorrow, because tomorrow is Sunday fun day, meaning we've got some D&D lore coming your way. And yeah, just sit tight. I've been working on my Celestial Sun lore for a while now, so hopefully I can give you like a... I'm trying to do like a 40 minute lore session where I just give you the overall history behind it, everything that I've changed, and just the whole lore in one video. So grab some snacks for that. I'm not sure when it'll be out, but uh, soon. And yeah, that's all I've got for today. As always, I'm the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Oh wait, I forgot. Hopefully you guys are still here. Um, there are some pre-orders that have just gone live for the Forge World site. And wow, I am freaking stoked. As you can see here, I will be definitely picking this bad boy up. This is the Alpha Legion Praetor. And you can best believe he's going to be used as like my sergeants for my tactical squads. The sculpt look just looks amazing. If you didn't know, for my Celestial Sons, my uh, captain or chapter master, if you will, is actually based on one of the Alpha Legion models. So what better way than to have sergeants that also are Alpha Legion models, just different color scheme. And on top of that, you've got these awesome Praetors, again for the Alpha Legion, in Cataphracty Terminator Power Armor. Really sweet sculpt. Uh, just, I mean, just look at it. It's awesome. Also, I'll give you a little bit of a surprise. I'm going to try to get Alpharius as a model and then convert him to be my Primarch. 
Because right now I'm using a Coverted Horus, and it's just not doing it for me. So just want to let I don't know. Just want to let that be said. <laughs> so really cool looking sculpts. Warhammer Quest pre-orders tomorrow. These guys are being um, available for pre-order. So yeah, I guess this is all I got to say for for sure this time. Sound Alchemist out.